to your heart tones, okay? So we're going to start with your mitral valve. It's the midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space. Tricuspid is your left lower sternum border. Herb's point is the third intercostal, left sternal border. Pulmonic is second intercostal, left sternal border. And then your right sternal border, second intercostal, is going to be your aortic. Now I'm just going to listen to them each with the valve. point and then your tricuspid and your mitral. I'm going to have you lean forward for me, take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, go ahead and relax. Very good. Jugular venous pressure, so I'll just have you, if you could, turn your head that way at nearly a 45 degree angle. And then I'm using tangential lighting to find the, um, the pulse. Once I find it, I'm just going to take my popsicle stick and put it at the top of the pulse. And then I'm going to measure at the sternal angle. Oh, and she's within the normal range. And then I'm going to start uh, looking at the, the precordium. Just looking for any abnormalities in beating, using tangential lighting. And then I am going to look at her apical pulse. Again, with tangential lighting, just looking for any abnormalities. And then I am going to um, palpate the apical pulse. So can you go ahead and just make a tissue berry for me, pulling the tissue up? So I'm just palpating for any abnorm abnormalities with beating. And then I'm going to palpate for heaves and thrills, so could you just create a tissue barrier going down? So I'll just take my knife edge, feeling for any heaves. Okay, and then I'm going to palpate for any thrills, so then I would go at each spot. I'm gonna go ahead and move up, oh, thank you. Feeling for any abnormalities there. Um, then I am going to percuss the heart borders. So I will have you go ahead and just make a tissue barrier up and away, or up and towards you, I guess. So then I'll do the fifth, fourth, and third intercostals. So I'm just going to palpate on my middle finger, finding, feeling for, or hearing for resonance and then dullness, which would indicate the lateral border of the heart. Okay, and then we're going into auscultation. So I'm just gonna cut out this. Okay. And I'm gonna start by listening at at each spot with starting with your butt. So I'll just have you go ahead and make a tissue barrier down the middle. Okay, so I listen down with the diaphragm and back with the bell. Okay, everything else sounds normal there. And now I'm going to listen for the S2 split with the diaphragm. So I'll have you go ahead and just make a down and away for me. feeling for any, or hearing for any splitting. Okay, and then I'm going to instruct my patient to sit towards facing this way on the edge of the table. And I am going to listen for any aortic regurgitation. So I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in, and then as, and as you release that, lean forward, and then hold your breath out, okay? And then I'm just gonna be listening in here. Okay. With the diaphragm. Okay, let's go ahead and take a deep breath out. Hold that for me. Okay, good. Then you can go ahead and lay that back down. 
And then I have you, yep, at the lateral to keep you the same. So go ahead, lay at a 45 degree angle. Listening for mitral stenosis. So go ahead and make a tissue barrier up and away from me. And then breathe all the way out and fold it. Okay, and then the last one, I'm gonna just have her um, in the same position, have her bear down as if, I'll have you bear down as if I'm punching you in the gut, okay? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you take your socks and shoes off and lay back in the bed for me. Thanks. Now I'm going to check for um, the cardiac. <clears throat> I'm going to um, listen. Second intercostal space, listening to the aorta. The left intercostal space, second intercostal space on the left side, the pulmonic. Third intercostal space on the left side, herbs point. Okay. The fourth intercostal space, the tricuspid. And the fifth intercostal space, the bicuspid. And at this point, I would listen for a full minute assessing the apical pulse. Heart sounds great. Um, at this point, I would turn my diaphragm around to the bell side and listen at all five, uh, all five points again. And listening with the bell would um, assess for any heart murmurs. The aorta, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and bicuspid. Great. Okay. Just going to have you turn your head to the left, right for me. This is checking for jugular vein distension. I'm also going to feel for the carotid artery. Pulse is nice and strong. You turn the other side for me. No jugular vein distension. Assessing the carotid artery on the right side. Pulse is nice and strong. Equally strong on both sides. I don't want to do it at the same time because you would cut off the circulation to the head. <clears throat> Check the temporal pulse. Okay. Also, I'm going to auscultate for any breweries in the carotid artery. Turn your head to the left. And the other side. Pulse sound strong. No breweries present. Okay. So, for the next part of the assessment, we're actually going to um, assess the patient's heart sounds. So, what you would want to do is there's five standard locations that you want to auscultate with the heart. Um, so, the most important spot is the um, mitral valve or ap apical spot, which you would want to listen to for a full minute whenever you're auscultating. 
um, but we'll get to that spot here in just a little bit. So there's landmarks for every single spot. So the first one we're going to find is the aortic area, and that is on the right side of the sternal border of the second intercostal space. Um, so you would palpate down intercostal spaces. I'm going to have the patient take a nice good deep breath in and hold it while I'm listening. Okay, you can release. And at each spot, you're going to list, want to listen to S1 and S2. If you hear any other abnormalities, um, you can go further with your exam. The next spot we're going to listen to is the pulmonic area, and that is on the left side of the sternal border, um, just directly across from where we were at, the second intercostal space. So, again, I'm going to have you just take a nice, good deep breath in and hold it. Okay, good. Now we're going to move down another intercostal space, so we're going to be at the third intercostal space. This is the second pulmonic area, and we're going to, so the third space down, but the second pulmonic area, a nice good deep breath in and hold it. Okay, then we're going to go down another intercostal space, um, which would be the tricuspid area, and it's just left sternal border again, so a nice good deep breath in and hold it. Okay, and then our fifth spot, we're actually going to go um, fifth intercostal space down, left midclavicular, so you're going to move more midline on the left side. And this is the mitral valve or apical area. You would want to listen for a full minute here and then um, reveal the heart rate, but we're not going to listen for a full minute. We'll listen for about 30 seconds, so for time purposes. Heart rate is 68. Um, so now we'll move on to the next part of the assessment, and that will be um, palpating peripheral pulses. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with the carotid pulses. You're going to want to palpate one at a time because you don't want to palpate them both at the same time. So we'll first find the one on the left. Easy to find. Then find the one on the right. Easy to find. And they're both plus two. And then you're going to want to listen with the belly of your stethoscope for the carotid pulse to make sure there's no abnormalities as far as bruise. 